dear students welcome back for the eighth session of this solid state so in the previous session that is session number 7 we have discussed what a void is and what the packing efficiency is <coughs> any vacant space or it is also called as the unoccupied space present in the given crystal lattice means it is not occupied by the which one the particles in the form of uh, spheres and that is called as which one the void suppose if the void or the vacant space is created by four spheres and those four spheres are always situated at the which one uh, four corners of a regular tetrahedron then it is called as tetrahedral void suppose if the vacant space or the void it is situated or it is formed by the six spheres or it may be the particles and those six spheres must be directed towards or they are situated at the six corners of a regular octahedron then that refers to the which one octahedral void usually number of tetrahedral voids is always a double the number of octahedral voids because if the given crystal lattice or the cubic system contains n number of uh, particles capital n for example then the number of octahedral voids is also equal to n and then the number of tetrahedral voids is two times that of n so that is a difference between the vacant space that has been occupied with respect to the tetrahedral and then the octahedral okay the rest is considered to be the packing efficiency what is that rest here the total volume occupied or it is also called as the fraction of the part of the total volume occupied by the spheres in the given crystal system is considered to be the which one the packing efficiency or sometimes it is also called as the packing fraction also as we are mainly preferring with respect to the most symmetrical cubic system mathematically the packing efficiency is given by the ratio of volume of all the spheres present per unit cell of the given cubic system system divided by volume of the unit cell preferably it is the cubic unit cell okay so that is the mathematical form into if i need the percentage of that one it becomes into 100 means packing efficiency is equal to volume of all the spheres per unit cell of the cubic system divided by volume of the cubic unit cell into what 100 okay so previously in this last session we have derived only one packing efficiency with respect to the simple cubic lattice where its value we have found to be what 52.8 in the term of a 52.4 in terms of percentage okay so now we will move on to the calculation of packing efficiency and it's also called as packing fraction in let us take a FCC sometimes it may be HCP or sometimes it may be the CCP packing uh, calculation of the packing efficiency in case of FCC or HCP or sometimes it may be the CCP lattice means all will have the same coordination number of 12 with respect to the three dimensional nature okay face center cubic or it is also called as hexagonal close packing or sometimes it may be also called as the cubic close packing because in all the cases the number of particles are going to be what the four okay let us have that first <clears throat> the unit cell of which one the unit cell of let's make that clearly into three different parts here okay let's have the clarity here to get the unit cell of fcc lattice contains how much 14 lattice points 14 lattice points in which 8 are corner particles and 6 are face centered particles FC particles ok the number of particles or sometimes it may be also called as spheres per unit cell of fcc lattice is given by the formula what is that nb plus nf by 2 plus nc by 8 that is equal to 
there are no no body centered particles therefore it is equal to 0 plus how many phase centers we are having 6 6 divided by 2 plus now corner particles are 8 that is equal to 4 here what 4 is the number of particles are the spheres present per unit cell of what lattice either I can choose in the form of phase centered cubic lattice or indirectly sometimes it may be in the form of hexagonal close packing or sometimes it may be the CCP that is called as cubic uh, close packing okay now let the edge length of the cube is equal to a same and r be the radius of that particular sphere because we have to choose a sphere and that radius is found to be what r and the edge length of that particular cube is equal to what the a here the particles are considered to be the same what spheres hard spheres they are considered to be what spheres hard spheres touching with each other they must have the close contact with each other that is touching with each other okay now let us draw the diagram with respect to this Let us have the cube first. Okay, what this is? The simple cubic right now. <clears throat> this is corner particle. How many corner particles we are having? Again, eight. Okay. Now, now we have to have the which one? The phase centered particles. How many phase centered particles we are having? Usually the 8. Okay. Let us have that. This is the first phase centered particle. This is second phase. Therefore, this is the second phase centered particle. In this phase, this is at the center. That is phase centered particle. Here also it is the fourth one. And with respect to this, it is the center here. And with respect to this, this is the center. So, totally 14 lattice points in which 8 are present at the corners and 6 are present at the centers of how many faces? 6 faces. Okay. Now, so here as if we know that this is found to be the A. What this is? A. What is A here? It is the edge length of that edge length of that now this is called as phase diagonal this is called as the phase diagonal what diagonal it is phase diagonal this is corner particle this is corner particle this is but this is what the phase centered particle now we will have the uh, which one this appearance of which one the phase centered particles and those phase centered particles are touching with each other considered to be the spheres i think this is one sphere this is second sphere and these are first corner particles but this is now considered to be the which one the phase centered particle what centered here it is the phase centered here this is the radius r this also the radius r this also the radius r and this also the radius r so how i will mention first consider this is sphere now okay so these are the corner particles and those corner particles are touching with each other right now okay there is no what for centered here phase centered as this is one phase okay assume that this is one phase centered but it is not in a plane we have to press like this we have to press like this so as i have already tried this one i can't expect this one to be in the plane what happens here by splitting those corner particles assume that this is a what corner particle I will take only the one of the face 
and these are considered to be the what particles? The corner particles. Okay. Let us assume this is the phase centered. This is now phase centered. But it is not in the same plane because it has to be mentioned in the same plane. Suppose if I press like this, what happens? What happens here? The corner particles doesn't touch us with each other. Because as if the phase centered particles enter between the four corner particles, what happens? Those corner particles will have the separation. Means there is no touching of a what particle and a what particle here. Corner particle with the corner particle. But one thing is, the phase center particle will have the contact with all the four corner particles. So this is considered to be the phase centered particle. This is in contact with what particles? The corner particles. But here corner particles are not touching with each other. But the phase center particles is touching with all the, which one? Four corners of a given simple cube. Okay, so here as if we know that the radius of this sphere is found to be the R. So here we are having the 2R because at the center we are having a particle R plus R. And this is at the center, this is R, this is R. Therefore it is R, 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 R we are having. When it is, if the corner particles are not touching with each other, but the phase centered particles is having the touching with all the four neighboring corner particles, then we can have one concept from that it is given as let us consider the triangle for example <coughs> this is a this is b and this is c okay from triangle what is that a b c from the triangle what is that a b c what is that a b c here according to pythagoras theorem a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square the pythagoras theorem Okay, AC square is equal to AB square plus which one? BC square. Can you say that what is AB here? It is the edge length. What is the edge length that I have taken? A. Therefore, it is A square plus BC. As it is a Q means length is equal to breadth is equal to height. That is also found to be what? A. And it is A square that is equal to 2A square. So, that is AC square is equal to what here? It is the 2A square. Therefore, AC is equal to root of 2 into A. What is AC here? It is root of 2 into A. And this is called as what diagonal? Phase diagonal. This AC is called as what diagonal? The phase diagonal. Because this phase centered particle is in contact with the two. Which one? The diagonally related two corner particles. Therefore, the AC is found to be the what diagonal? AC, what is that? It is the phase diagonal and that is found to be the what root of 2 into a but what is ac here ac is equal to this plus this plus this plus this this is r this is r this is r this is r totally it is 4r and that is equal to root of 2 into which one a 2 into a r suppose if i need the volume of that cube here <coughs> or i can mention that in the form of AC square 4R cube here. Okay. So if I have the cube on both sides, can I say that is 4R whole cube is equal to root 2 into A whole cube. That is 64R cube is equal to 2 into root 2 into A cube. Okay. So now 1s are 32s are here. Okay, therefore, what is a cube here? A cube is what? 32 R cube divided by root 2. That is equal to 16 R cube divided by 16 R cube. Sorry, it is not 16 R cube here. It is, it is 32 R cube into this one and this is called as Volume of the unit cell that is called as the cube also. Volume of the unit cell that is found to be the what? Unit cell or simply it is also called as what cube? The body centered cube or it is, uh, sorry it is not the body centered, it is the face centered cube. Okay. So first we have, what we have taken here? The number of particles per unit cell of FCC light is equal to 4. How you have got? That is NB plus NCF by 2 plus NC by 8. Then simplification we are getting the value of which one? 4. 
we have to assume the same edge length of that one is a and then the r is the radius of that particular sphere here the particles are touching with each other and uh, touching with each other such that the corner particles are not touching with each other whereas the face centered particle at a given face is now touching with the corner particles so then applying the which one triangle uh, for the triangle what is that triangle here abc what is that abc here ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square that is equal to a square plus a square that is equal to 2a square ah what is ac here it is root 2 into which one a root 2 into a okay and that root 2 into but root 2 into a is nothing but the phase diagonal and that value is equal to r plus r plus r plus r that is equal to 4r therefore what is that term? 4R is uh, on cubing on both sides. What happens? 4R whole cube is equal to root 2A whole cube. Ah, 32 into R cube because 4 means it is actually 64 R cube is equal to 2 root 2 into A whole cube is 2 root 2 into A cube. Or on simplification, I am getting that 32 R cube is equal to root 2 into what cube? A cube. Or A cube is equal to what? 32 R cube divided by root 2 and that is nothing but the volume of the cube. Then also, what is volume of one sphere as usual the same thing what we have discussed what is that it is equal to what by what 4 by 3 pi r cube because r is the radius of the sphere means what is the volume of the one sphere it is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube then apply the definition packing efficiency in fcc lattice is equal to how to calculate the packing efficiency here volume of Four spheres per unit cell of FCC divided by volume of cubic unit cell or simply it is also called as Q into if I need the percentage means it has to be multiplied by which one 100 in general packing efficiency equal to volume of all the spheres per unit cell how many spheres we are having or how many particles we are having it is 4 therefore volume of how many spheres 4 spheres per unit cell of FCC divided by volume of the cubic unit cell it is also called as cube that is equal to 4 into what is the volume of 1 cube volume of 1 cube sorry not cube it is a volume of 1 sphere is nothing but a what 4 by 3 what are cube pi r cube divided by what is the volume of the cube? Volume of the cube is nothing but A cube. Okay. What is that A cube here? It is A cube is nothing but 32 what cube? 32 R cube divided by what is that? Root 2 into. If I need the percentage means I get the value as which one? The 100. Okay. So here 4 4 is 16. 16 means here it is 2. So here it is 1 za, here it is root 2 za. R cube, R cube. So now it becomes pi divided by 3 into root 2. If I simplify that, pi into, pi divided by 3 into what? This one, 2. If I need the percentage, means we have to multiply that by which one? The 100. Substitute the value of which one? The pi. Pi value is 22 by 7. On simplification of 22 by 7, into 100 divided by 3 root 2 if i simplify that it becomes what 74 percent is called it is the what efficiency packing efficiency with respect to what cell the face centered cubic lattice fcc it is called as fcc fcc means face centered cubic lattice means here 74 percent of the Space is occupied by the four different spheres with respect to what CC? FCC. Then what is the vacant space that has been present? Sorry, what is the vacant space that has been present? It is 100 minus 74 that is equal to 26%. What 26% is actually? It is the volume of which one? The vacant space that has been present or indirectly we are calling that as a vital nature. Okay. So this is called as the calculation of what? The packing efficiency with respect to what lattice? The face centered cubic lattice or I can choose that in the form of hexagonal closed packing or sometimes it can also be mentioned as in the form of which one? CCP that is called as cubic closed packing lattice. Okay. First, the unit cell of what lattice? The FCC lattice consists of how many lattice points? Totally the 14 lattice points. Among the 14 lattice points, 8 are situated at the corners and 1 exactly, sorry, 6 are present at the centers of how many faces? 6 faces. Then how many particles are present per unit cell of FCC lattice is equal to 
4. How we are getting 4? It is obtained from the general formula. What is that? Nb plus Nf by 2 plus Nc by 8. Nb is 0 actually. Nf is actually 6 and Nc is equal to 8. On substitution and simplification, we are getting the what? The 4. Here, first we have to concentrate or consider the particles are considered to be the hard sphere such that they will touch with each other and then the wall, let the edge length of that particular cubic unit cell that we have chosen is going to be the A and the radius of the each sphere is considered to be the what? R. Okay. Then, how to make? As if in case of the simple cube, we know that the corner particles are always touching with what other? Each other. Okay. If a face centered particles enter into that to maintain the planarity in that one, what happens? The corner particles will move apart such that there is no direct contact between the corner to the corner particles, but the face centered particle is having a contact with respect to all the four corners in the given face. On that basis, we are considering what? One triangle. What is the triangle we have got here? ABC. What is that ABC here? It is a right angle triangle according to Pythagoras theorem what we have mentioned. AC square is equal to what? AB square plus BC square. AB square means it is A, A square. BC square means that is also A square. Therefore, it is equal to 2 into A square. Or what is AC is root of 2 into A. But that AC is called as what diagonal? It is the face diagonal. Therefore, face diagonal is given by R plus R plus R plus R. That is equal to totally the 4R. 4R is equal to root 2 into A. R cubing on both sides, it becomes 4R cube is equal to root 2 into a whole cube or on simplification I will get the final answer in the form of a cube is equal to what a 32 r cube divided by root 2 and that is nothing but the volume of the cubic units or invariably it is called as volume of the cube okay in addition to that what is the volume of a single sphere as usual according to the geometry here volume of a sphere is given by 4 by 3 into what cube by r cube okay then apply the definition what is the definition here Packing efficiency with respect to the face centered cubic lattice is given by volume of all the spheres. How many spheres we are having? The four spheres per unit cell of FCC divided by volume of the cubic unit cell indirectly it is called as cube into e. percentage if I require means it is multiplied by 100. So, substitution and simplification will provide the value in the form of what? 74%. That 74% is called as the packing efficiency in case of what lattice? <clears throat> the face centered cubic lattice sometimes it may be also referred as the hexagonal close packing lattice or sometimes it may be also called as the cubic close packing lattice okay so now we will move on to the <clears throat> last part or the last derivation the calculation of the same what is that instead of this we will mention only the fcc lattice sorry bcc lattice now So, in the derivation for the calculation of the packing efficiency or to study the structures of any solid, we are assuming that the particles are always considered to be the what spheres, hard spheres and they will start to touch with each other. Okay. So, that is the main condition first. Okay. Now, we will move to the last derivation that is <coughs> the calculation of packing efficiency in BCC lattice. What is BCC lattice here? It is the body centered cubic lattice. Okay, let us have the packing efficiency first. Consider R the UC of BCCL. BCCL means it is called body centered cubic lattice contains how much? 9 lattice points. 9 lattice points in which 8 are corner particles and 1 is BC particle. What is BC particle? Body centered particle. So, that is a condition with respect to the cubic unit cell of BCC. Totally it contains how many lattice points? 9 lattice points in which 8 are present at the corners and then 1 present at the body centered. Therefore, here number of particles or spheres per unit cell of BCC lattice is equal to 2, sorry. How we are getting this 2 here? It is equal to 2. 
how we are getting this 2 here so we know that nb plus nf by 2 plus nc by 8 this is a formula for the calculation of which one number of particles per unit cell of any cubic system or cubic lattice for body centered particle nb is equal to 1 here no face centered particles in body center therefore nf is equal to what z then number of corner particles is 8 8 divided by 8 so if i simplify that we are getting 2 what 2 here is it is the number of particles and those particles are considered to be the what spheres per unit cell of what lattice the bcc lattice consider the particles are hs what hs means hard spheres touching with each other touching with what each other okay so let us have the geometric representation for the showing of both the face center sorry body centered particles along with which one the corner particles let us consider the cube now right now first So now first this is a what cube? Simple cube. First the particles are present at the corners. So totally how many corners we are having? 8 corners. These particles are corner particles. CPs. Okay. In addition to that we are having the one particle which is exactly at the center. Okay. If it is exactly at the center means I can mention this is the position. I will write that in the different uh, color here. What is this particle actually? It is the body centered particle. BC particle we are calling that as body centered particles. So here we have to have one sphere in contact with such that there is no contact with a corner corner but only the body center will have the contact. Okay. This is corner particle, this is corner particle, and this is body centered particle. What I why I mentioned is first. So here this is a simple cube first, where the particles are present only at the which one? Corners. And let's have this body centered. Where it is actually? I have to insert this particular sphere called as a body centered sphere or particle exactly at the center exactly at the center means we have to not remove that one we have to transfer those corner particles such that each corner particles are not touching with each other before inserting the body center particles how these are they are at the they are touching with each other suppose if I insert this exactly at the center what happens that body center particle retraces or it changes its position such that there is no contact of the corner particles only the body centered particle will have the contact with all the which particles corner particles so let us have the same assumption let us say one of the phase i am taking only the one phase i am taking we can have the another four here or we can have the another four behind whatever it may be this is one phase right now okay so here if it is a simple cubic the corner particles are always touching with each other okay now we are inserting this what is that the body centered next we'll have the another one like this so here what that particle is the body centered particle and this is four corner particles these are also four corner particles but here we should have to have the close contact of the corner with the corner what happens here if I insert like this, what happens? The four corners will change their position such that they doesn't touch with each other. 
but the body center particle is touching with all the four spheres not only the four spheres just i am assuming here we are having another four also here totally the body centered particle which is exactly at the center of the simple cube is in contact with all the eight corner particles such that there is no touching of the corner with the corner particles but each corner particle will have the contact with the what particle body center particle so that is what i have mentioned in the diagram okay so let's have the derivation now moment for the derivation <coughs> now <coughs> so before moving to that let us have another we need here this is the face centered particle just to get the body diagonal we are using it okay let us have the triangles first a b and then c there is another triangle that is called as d so this is corner particle this is corner particle and this is body centered particle okay now let us have the first from triangle one we are having the two different uh, right angle triangles here consider the triangle that is called as which one abc first as usual the same thing ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square as if we know that this is the energy length what is the energy length here a what is bc also that is also a because it is a q length is equal to breadth is equal to height can you say this a square plus a square that is equal to 2a square means we are having the value of ac square as what 2a square okay similarly from another triangle what is that abd sorry adc i think from triangle what is that adc adc is another right angle triangle so according to that ad square is equal to ac square plus bd square sorry or cd square whatever it means from what triangle right angle triangle that is called as adc ad square is equal to ac square plus cd square that is equal to what is ac square according to the first one it is found to be the what square 2a square plus what is cd square cd means it is the edge length what is the edge length here a therefore it is called as what square a square which is equal to 3a square what is that here ad square is equal to what 3a square ah what is ad this is equal to cube root of uh, sorry square root of 3a square root of what 3a and this is called as body diagonal this is called as what diagonal but because at the center we are having the body centered particles and at the opposite we are having the what particles corner particles therefore that diagonal is called as what diagonal body diagonal but here what is the value of ad here as if we know that this is found to be r radius of the sphere is r this is also r this is also r this is also r therefore what is the value of ad here ad is called as the body diagonal and that value is found to be the what 4r 4r is equal to root 3 into which one a 4r is equal to what root 3 into a in the previous case i am getting 4r is called as face diagonal and face diagonal is root 2 into a root 2 into a ah cubing on both sides 4r whole cube is equal to root 3a whole cube what you have done we are cube we have cubing on both sides so here what is 4r cube 4r cube means 4 4s are 16 16 4s are 64r cube is equal to 64 r cube is equal to 3 root 3 into a cube 3 root 3 into what a cube ah what is a cube here a cube is 64 r cube divided by 3 root 3 64 r cube divided by 3 root 3 and this is called as volume of the cubic unit cell or simply it is also called as cube volume of the cubic unit cell which is also called as the volume of the cube that is called as a cube okay now what is volume of one sphere now volume of one sphere is equal to as usual what is that 4 by 3 what are q pi r q because r is the radius of that sphere okay now apply the definition packing efficiency in bcc lattice 
packing efficiency with respect to what lattice here we are calculating the bcc lattice okay volume of two spheres per unit cell of bccl because volume of all the spheres that has been present in case of the simple cube we have taken only the volume of one sphere in case of the phase center we have taken the volume of four spheres but in case of bcc we are having the two particles and that is why it is called as volume of how many spheres two spheres per unit cell of bcc lattice what is bcc body centered cubic lattice divided by volume of the cubic unit cell or simply it is also called as cube if i need the percentage just you have to multiply by 100 it has to be multiplied by 100 that is equal to what is the volume of two spheres two into what is the volume of one sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by what is the volume of the unit cell or it is also called as cubic unit cell it is equal to a cube a cube is what 64 r cube divided by 3 root 3 that is 64 r cube divided by 3 into what root 3 into if i need the percentage means i have to multiply that by which one 100 okay so here i can cancel r cube r cube first 3 3 i can cancel 2 4 is 8 8 8 is 64 so what is the net i will get here it is uh, pi 8 pi divided by uh, by 8 ones uh, it is found to be the what 64 or if I simplify that it will get 8 root 3 into 100 that's equal to what is pi here again what is that 22 by 7 into 100 divided by 8 into what root 3 so if I simplify I will get that in the form of 68 percent what is 68 percent here it is called as the what the packing efficiency with respect to the BCC lattice okay means what is the rest 32 percent here it is called as the volume of the vacant space or it is also called as unoccupied space okay so therefore this is how we are going to calculate the packing efficiency in case of the SC or FCC or it may be the BCC so in case of BCC lattice totally it contains how many lattice points nine lattice points in which among the nine lattice points eight are situated at the corners and one exactly at the center of the simple cube which is also called as body centered particle okay next how many particles present per unit cell of BCC lattice? It is actually 2. How we have get? It is given by the formula. What is that? NB plus NF by 2 plus NC by 8. NB is equal to 1 and NF is equal to 0 and NC is equal to 8. If I simplify, substitute and simplify, I will get the value as what? Only the 2. What 2 is? The number of particles. Particles means it is nothing but the spheres per unit cell of what lattice? BCC lattice. Then, again we have to consider the particles such that they will touch with each other. Okay? So, then we are having the diagram so that is first we have to write the symbol q where the particles are present only at the corners in addition to that we have to put a single particle which is situated at gladly at the center of the symbol cube and that particle is called as body centered so when i insert the body centered particle into the symbol cube what happens the touched corner particles now they will start to move out such that no corner particles are touching with the other or the neighboring corner particles but the body centered particle at the center is much be touching with all the eight corner particles okay on that basis we have to calculate the body diagonal before getting the body diagonal we have to get the phase diagonal that for we have to consider the first triangle in the form of abc from the triangle abc what is that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square therefore ac square is equal to ab means it is called as edge square a square bc is also the a square that is a square that is equal to what are what square to a square and also we have to consider another right angle triangle in the form of what is that ADC. So then according to that AD square is equal to what? AC square plus CD square. AC square is equal to sorry AD square is equal to what? AC square plus CD square. But what is AC here? It is a value of 2A square we have already calculated therefore it is 2A square plus what is CD square? It is a edge length that is equal to A square. Therefore AD square is equal to 3 times the A square or AD is equal to root 3 times the what? A and that AD is called as what diagonal? body diagonal and what is the value of body diagonal also this is r this is r this is r this is r totally how many hours we are having four hours therefore four r is equal to root three into a r on cubing on both sides it becomes four r cube is equal to root three into a cube r 
4 r cube means it is nothing but 64 r cube is equal to 3 root 3 into a cube r a cube is equal to 64 r cube divided by root 3 into root 3 and that is nothing but the a cube is nothing but a what volume of a cubic unit so simply it is also called as the volume of the cube and as usual what is the volume of a single sphere it is 4 by 3 into pi r cube where r is the radius of that particular sphere then apply the definition what is the definition here packing efficiency with respect to bcc lattice is equal to volume of how many spheres volume of only the how many spheres here the two spheres per unit cell divided by volume of the cube or it is also called as a cubic unit cell into if i need the percentage it is multiplied by 100 the substitution and then the simplification gives the final value in the form of 68 percent okay so this is the packing efficiency with respect to sc bcc and then fcc okay so the packing efficiency of scl bccl and then fccl what is that simple cubic lattice base uh, body centered cubic lattice and then the face center so here it is found to be the 52.4 percent here it is found to be the 68 percent and here it is found to be the 74 percent so which is having the most uh, packed efficiency here it is the fcc or sometimes it can also be called as hcp hexagonal close packing or sometimes it can also be called as ccp called as cubic close packing and the next packing efficiency is found to be the 68 percent for bcc and then the least packing efficiency is observed in case of the simple cubic lattice which is found to be 52.4 percent okay so this is how we are going to calculate the which one the number of <coughs> particles sorry calculation of which one the packing efficiency in case of the SSE, BCC and then the which one? The FCC lattice. Okay. Now we are going to calculate the <coughs> density of calculation for the formula to calculate the density of the unit cell or it may be the crystal lattice. What is the density for that? We know that density is equal to what by what? Mass by what? okay formula to calculate the density of a crystal density of unit cell of the crystal lattice crystal lattice okay let the number of particles per unit cell of given cubic lattice is equal to z i don't know that what that is it is a number of particles per unit cell of cubic lattice i don't know what type of cubic lattice it is whether it is a simple or a bcc or it may be the fcc first we know that what is that what we know that actually mass of n a number of particles per unit cell of cubic lattice is equal to m here what is that m here it is called as molar mass or it is also called as molecular mass sometimes because one mole of a substance refers to how much particles avogadro number of particles means the mass of n a number of particles n a number of which one particles present for how much unit cell of the cubic lattice is equal to what yeah therefore what is the mass of z number of particles what that is number of particles present per unit cell of the given cubic lattice therefore mass of z number of particles per unit cell of the given what lattice cubic lattice is equal to what is that z into m divided by n a what is z m by n a here it is the mass of how many particles z number of particles per unit cell of the which lattice the cubic lattice then density we know that it is equal to and also we have to know another one that is called as what is the volume of the any cubic unit cell cubic unit cell it is equal to a cube sometimes it can also be called as what v let us have that first v 
and then which is equal to what? A. Because in Q means length is equal to breadth is equal to height, therefore it is A into A into A that is equal to what? Q. A Q. Okay. Then density we know that it is equal to density of the which one? Unit cell of the crystal lattice is equal to mass divided by which one? Volume. How do you call that? Mass divided by volume. So here what is the mass of that particles? Mass of Z number of particles is given by Zm divided by Avogadro number divided by volume is V or I can choose AQ. Whatever it may be. I don't know about that. Therefore, density D is equal to if I simplify that Zm by Vn or D is also equal to Zm by A cube into N A. What this is? The formula to calculate the density of the unit cell of the what lattice? Crystal lattice. So here, you have to know the terms for that. What are the terms here? Z means it is 1 for SC lattice, 2 for BCC lattice and 4 for FCC lattice. What's that is? The number of particles. Number of particles with respect to SC is 1. BCC is 2. With respect to FCC it is found to be the 4. So that is number of particles per unit cell we have considered that in the form of Z. Suppose if it is a cubic, simple cubic unit cell its value is 1. 2 means it is BCC lattice and 4 means it is called as FCC lattice. Okay. What is M? Molar mass or molecular mass? What is V or AQ? It is nothing but the volume of the cubic unit cell. Volume of the what cell? Cubic unit cell. And Na is what? Avogadro number. What number it is? Avogadro number. What is Avogadro number here? 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. Means, if I know the nature of the cubic unit cell, then its respective molar mass and then the edge length or it may be the volume. I can calculate the what? density of that particular unit cell with respect to the given crystal lattice okay so as if for the pure board is concerned we didn't have that which one the relation between those two so that is the derivation of density directly we need the formula either i can choose which one d is equal to zm by v into na or d is also equal to zm divided by a cube into na if v is the case it is the volume if a cube is the case a is first referring to the what its length as if it is a cube means so length is equal to breadth is equal to height therefore it is a into a into a that is equal to what cube it is a, a cube okay so this is about the packing efficiency along with the calculation of a density for the given cubic unit cell or the unit cell with respect to the given crystal lattice in the next session that is session number nine i think we will move on to the imperfections in the solids are sometimes it is also called as the defects in the solids what makes the solid crystal structure to be an imperfect or what are the drawbacks or it may be the defects with respect to the arrangement okay so that all we will discuss in the next session of this chapter that is called as the solid state okay so thank you <coughs>